This is Alexa, if you, if you don't have one at home. Oracle founder Larry Ellison might not be a fan of AWS, but when it comes to Amazon Alexa, that's a different story. Alexa, ask Oracle Assistant to call Steve Miranda. This is a look at Ellison demonstrating Oracle's new voice assistant on Wednesday. It's the latest way the tech giant is injecting more AI capabilities into its suite of business applications. Steve Miranda is currently traveling to Munich, Germany. Would you like to call him or send an email? Machine learning has let us take very complicated business processes and fully automate them. But sometimes demos don't go as planned. Alexa? Actually, Jeff Bezos is watching this demo. <laughs> now, Wednesday marks the third day of Oracle Open World here in San Francisco, and if there's one word to summarize the company these days, execs say it's this. I mean, when I think of one word, I think of modern. Yeah. Right. I think of some of these other competitive uh, cloud platforms that are out there that uh, were just built so long ago. A lot of our goal has been to really build a cloud that's that's targeted for enterprises, that's really built for their use cases. The conference gave Oracle a chance to unveil its second generation cloud infrastructure. Gen 2 really allows Oracle to be experts in the infrastructure as a service, which is critical, that's very important, but also to layer those value-add services on top, most recently with the autonomous database and some of the new capabilities that are not available to us as a technology producer outside of something like OCI. We have a great portfolio, we know innovation is going to continue to come to market. Uh, you know, the future is really all about helping our customers move off the old and move on to the modern. So that's a wrap on Oracle Open World 2018. You can head to CRN.com for more coverage. Till next time, I'm Diana Blass with CRN TV.